welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to another video. Obviously, I'm just going to jump right into this video because the title kind of gives it away. Before I get too into it, please go ahead, give this channel a subscribe, like my videos, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss more videos. And let's jump into it. So yes, as you can see by the title, I got another rainbow boa. For those of you that have been around a while, you probably remember this guy. That is Apollo. He was my rainbow boa that I got myself for my birthday this past summer. He unfortunately got out and I was never able to find him before moving out of my apartment. And he was so young that it is quite unlikely that he made it, which was very, very unfortunate. Rainbow boas are my absolute favorite snakes. It was my dream snake to own. I was so happy to finally have one. And ever since losing him for you know, the last couple months, I've just, like, I really missed having a rainbow boa. So I was like, you know, eventually I do want to get another one. And I couldn't imagine not getting one from the same breeder because those snakes are like his pride and joy. He specializes in rainbow boas. They're like so healthy, so just amazing. And he's an amazing breeder to work with and well trusted by everybody. So I had to go back to him. So I went back to the breeder and asked him if he had any of Apollo's siblings left because I wanted to do a tribute to Apollo and I wanted one of the siblings that can name it Artemis. So without further ado, I want everyone to meet Artemis. This is Apollo's sister, literally, not just in theory because of Apollo and Artemis. She is actually Apollo's sister. So the breeder had a couple babies from that batch left. He had like three females and a male, four females and a male something along those lines. And she was one that he had starred. He thought she was gorgeous. And he recommended that I go with her. The last time I went with one of his recommendations, I ended up with Apollo who was absolutely gorgeous. So I fully trusted this breeder with picking the right snake for me. I did look at all of the ones he sent me and I did, I went with her. So she's not quite as calm and friendly as Apollo was. Like you can see she's fine now that I have her out, but getting her out is not quite as easy as getting Apollo out was. Um, you may have seen on Twitter, I experienced my first snake bite last week. It was from her. So baby rainbow boas are known to be nippy and Apollo was not. Apollo was a absolute sweetheart. So with her being his sister, I thought nothing of it. I reached in to get her and she struck at me and bit me and I bled. It didn't hurt at all. It was actually kind of funny because I was in a room full of people talking about how I had never been bit by a snake before. And then she bit me. And I asked my mom if she wanted to hold her because my mom, she's held my baby snakes. She did hold Tootsie and she held Snicket. And uh, yeah, my mom was extremely turned off by the fact that she had just bit me. So I'm not sure they'll ever get my mom to hold her, but we'll see. Yeah, I wasn't even supposed to have her yet. I messaged the breeder because I wanted one of the siblings before they were gone, but I wasn't going to pick her, him, it up until May when I went back down for my college graduation because he's located down near where I went to college. Um, so I was just gonna put a deposit down on her and he was gonna hold her for me until May. Well. I didn't even think about the fact that my best friend goes to school in the same city that he was located in and she comes home all the time. So I was very lucky. My best friend came home and agreed to meet up with the breeder and the breeder agreed to meet up with her and they did the exchange. So here it is the very beginning of February and I have my new baby. I didn't have to wait until May. I wasn't sure how I was gonna wait until May and I am just, I am so happy to have a rainbow boa again. A lot of you may remember I also struggled with feeding Apollo. He was the last baby struggling to switch over to frozen fod. So I did have to feed him live, but she has no problem eating. She is a great eater. So thankfully there's no problems with that this time around. So she is a little more purple. Apollo is. Apollo is more of a red and she's a little more of a purple. 
So I'm excited to see what she'll look like when she gets bigger. So yeah, I own a Brazilian rainbow boa again. I can't even believe it. I, my gosh, I love them so much and I miss Apollo so much. And I'm so happy to have Artemis now. And I'm so grateful that he still had some of Apollo's siblings left. So yeah, that's Artemis. And I'm so happy I can tell you guys about her finally because I've been wanting to post pictures about her on Instagram and post this video, but I was letting her get settled in and eat and just chill out. But I'm so happy I can finally post this and tell you guys because keeping the secret has been killing me. So like I said, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and hit that notification bell so you don't miss more videos with Artemis or any of my other animals. <laughs>